Okay, rundowns uh, is our next thing to cover. Again, we're trying to cover these things before we start game uh, and our, our practice, our first uh, team practice where we play a game happens to be tomorrow. So uh, uh, just for that thing, so we want to cover these things. So we will, we, some of these things can happen and the thing is a rundown. Okay, number one, we're, we're working today on getting an out with one guy on base. Not multiple guys, let's don't make this complicated. Let's figure out how to get an out in this situation right here. So we're, as, a, as an infielder, if we've got a guy in a rundown, we're trying to run him hard toward the base he's going to. I don't care whether it's the back base or the front base for me. Uh, and our, our guy that's gonna be throwing the ball is up in position, no more than one arm fake. He's running him and we're, if a base runner's here, then I'm arm side. Therefore, the infielder that could catch the ball is glove side to catch the ball so we don't hit the runner in the back, and we'll run him hard. We get him going. As I'm getting close to the base, maybe five steps from the base. The guy that's receiving the ball will take a step toward the base runner and say, now get the ball, and nobody can outrun me. If we're going full speed this way, no way they can turn around and, and, and outrun me when we be able to catch them in there, and we would like one throw. It doesn't matter whether it's a pick at second and we get a guy, or we get a pick at third, or a pick at first, or a catcher thrown behind somebody, and we got a rundown. We want to get one out. We're going to rotate. And uh, if we don't get him in that one throw, then what we do always is we, if we we're, we're, remember, we're, we're throwing, we're throwing side glove side. So if I throw the ball and we don't get him, then I'm going to rotate to where I threw the ball and then back up to base. Always get out of the way. As a, for our team, we tell our players offensively, if you get caught in a rundown, look for somebody to run into that doesn't have the ball. Then it's the interference and you get to the next base. Because a lot of guys will throw the ball and stand there in the baseline. And if you can turn around and run into that guy, then it's interference. Every single time, we'll be hollering interference. The base runner will be hollering interference, and you'll get interference in that situation. And you really keep rotating, throwing side, until you get him. So there could be two, three, four, we, you know, we've all seen a rundown takes three or four throws. And we'd like to get one. The more throws are, the more chance you're gonna get a mistake and drop a ball or make a bad throw. So we want one throw, rotate. And today what we'll do is we'll practice getting him in one throw, two throws, three throws, just to get the rotation process. And you'll see that well, we're gonna have picks going to first base and we're gonna have picks going to third base uh, and, and get guys in a rundown and Try to get them in one throw. But we're going to practice two or three throws because it's going to happen. One throw and get him. One throw and get him. Here we go. Run him hard right there. Right there. One throw. One throw. I thought we we're doing one throw. We're doing one throw. No, if one throws in here, if he's running in here, this guy's making one throw. Either way, one throw. Yeah. You hit a ground ball? Is that what you did? Okay. Guys, that throws like a dart. Like a dart. Whether it's a pitcher or one of these guys, it's like a dart. It's not here, just like a dart. Boom. Okay, hold up. Let's go two throws. Two throws. So we got to rotate. Two throws. You got to say now and come after the throw. You ain't going to catch nobody. Okay. Wait a minute, guys. You guys understand? You rookies, when you get here, 
you got to always, the guy receiving the ball has always got to come after as he gets five steps away or something. And now I've got my momentum going, then I'm going to catch him. If you're standing right here like that, you ain't going to catch me.